were dying from bathtub gin, dying from a, an unregulated product. So then women like myself finally said, this is crazy. Let's re-legalize alcohol. We legalized it, we taxed it, and we started to put controls on it. So I don't know if you ever see like the Budweiser guy and the Schlitz guy having shootouts anymore. You ever see that going on? Shooting at each other to control the black market? No. But that's what we see the drug dealers doing because there's a lucrative black market. Lucrative. And that's what they're fighting over. And that's why the police also have this relationship with us now. Because they used to just watch and protect, serve and protect, and now we have the war on drugs. Mr. Nixon called a war on drugs for us because the civil rights movement was so effective. You couldn't just put black and brown people in prison anymore, so they had to come up with something else. But this isn't a war on drugs. This is a war on people. If it were a war on drugs, we would legalize and regulate illegal drugs. But instead, we have to demonize people. And they demonized marijuana users because that's the bulk of the people they arrest and put in prison and take away your ability to get federal funding for school. If you get caught with a joint, you can't get federal funding for school. You guys know that, right? We're on a campus here, right? You can kill folks. You can drive a car into a church and get federal funding for school, but you can't get caught with dope. That's crazy. Since I have started doing drug policy reform work, I live in this crazy reality where I find out shit and I'm like, that can't be true. It's all true, it really is. Where I live in Michigan, the laws, the asset forfeiture laws are so egregious that they can take all your stuff, they say you might have used them in a crime, and never charge you with the crime ever. It's a little different here in, in Wisconsin. You folks have got a different situation going on. You're ahead of us in some ways. Your asset forfeiture laws aren't that horrible, but they're still in place. So if you want to be able to maintain your rights, if you think you should be able to smoke marijuana as medicine, to treat chronic pain or nausea or PS, PTSD or whatever it is, then what you're gonna have to do is work with the individuals that come up here. I know we had some speakers up here. One gentleman was running for uh, a Supreme Court, a Supreme Court seat, which was amazing to me. He's right here. Pay attention to this gentleman. Listen to what he has to say, because those are the people that hold your fate in your hands. So I'm here uh, again with the Midwest Cultivator. Um, and, you know, we're here, we want to expand into Wisconsin and give you coverage in Wisconsin for, for you know, whatever issues you find are, are really relevant that you want to see written about. Please let myself, my ad salesperson, my co-owner, Hillary Delaney is right there, let us know. Um, because we're here to help. We pass these laws. Medical marijuana is legal in Michigan. They're not supposed to arrest me. They're not supposed to take my children from me. I'm supposed to do something differently. What is it, Ben? Sorry, sorry. They're not supposed to take my kids from me. They're not supposed to arrest me. Our laws direct law enforcement to do something they can't figure out. It says don't arrest people who smoke marijuana or eat it. They just, they, people, law enforcement across the state are stunned right now in Michigan. They don't know what to do. They write letters to the editor about how marijuana is dangerous. It's a gateway drug. You know, and you're gonna, if you legalize marijuana, people are gonna be doing it all over the place. They're all lies, we know it's lies. So that's all I got to say for the day. I just, like I said, I just drove up here, so I just started ranting at you. But I'm glad to see all of you here. Each and every one of you needs to register to vote. You need to talk to your friends and find out the legislators in your areas who are supportive to this and give them as much support as possible so we can start taking back this country and start living our lives in a safe and free way and have some justice be served finally. Thanks a lot. See you later.